Hello and welcome to another episode of Julia's Edit Suite. I'm a video editor and today we're going to be watching Pendejo from Little Big. Good to know, I am not familiar with the artist, this was a suggestion from someone in the comments and I did check out a couple of the video clips from this band and yeah, I just... I need to talk about this. These visuals are crazy, there are so many things happening. So I thought, you know what, pendejo, this was one of the last video clips, let's comment on it. I mean, the name of it already sounds kind of fun, because as you know, pendejo in Spanish means sort of idiot, dumb, you know, something negative. You don't want to call pendejo to someone. So this is what the artist said about the song. Our life turned into TikTok. This track and video are about this TikTok phenomena. People are making bullshit 24-7 and that's totally okay because life is rather pointless. Just make fun and do whatever you want to. Whatever is legal, of course. Good that they point this out. This is a good idea to go from and understand a little bit this video clip, which perhaps I don't need to understand anything and it's just more about the fun of it. Okay, now that you know, let's go watch it. Okay, so let's talk about this little quick intro. Very nice how the first shot is the banana and then it just makes the title go away. And very interesting the decision of not putting the sound effects of him hitting the palm tree and uh, having other sound effects instead. It just maybe adds to the corniness of it. Bandejo. So this is so cool because everything that you expect that could happen doesn't happen. And when you think that you've seen a very weird thing and it cannot get worse, it just gets worse. When I say worse, I mean that it cannot get more crazy. They use practical effects and also just the blocking, the art direction, demounting this whole scenery and suddenly she's in the middle of the beach with a horse made out of humans or maybe a motorcycle. This can go with your imagination. So here I wonder, did the guy have a moustache? Or they added in post? Did he have the moustache and then he shaved it? I don't know, but this is very cool. This is probably one of the most disturbing shots. I know there are a lot, but this is... You don't see every day a face in someone else's chest. Just in regards of the technicalities, they make very good use of the zoom in and out. They have these lenses that they just keep focused on the subject and then they can zoom out very far away. You focus on the subject, right? And then once they made the wide shot, you realize... Body chode. Okay, there's something weird going on here. They play all this time with these sort of reveals, just like when the girl, she's in the pillow, it's close on her and, pfft, and then everything gets demounted in your imagination. I think that if their goal with this video is to show the ridiculousness, 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 the ridiculousness of TikTok and social media in general, they got it. So obviously a lot of compositing and I imagine green screen to do these sort of shots where everything can move and float at some point from the screen. You don't know what's real anymore, right? You may think that uh, this is a real light in a real shower, but no, apparently actually this is a door. So everything can be everything. I imagine that this sort of match cuts is a reference to the super trendy uh, style of editing of uh, TikTok videos where people just change um, clothing. I'm lazy and I know it so. Oh, and this may be a, 
This was like a long time ago, but is this a reference to that song of I'm sexy and I know it? I'm sexy and I know it. Maybe, I don't know. But the pony, someone can explain me in the comments what it what it means, which, which viral video does it reference to. Here, I imagine no crazy visual effects. It's just him. But the jump cuts work perfectly to match with this surreal feeling of the whole video clip. Bandejo. Same use of the surprise effect, you think that you're saying something and pfft, oh no, it's not it. Okay, and they finish right on the same way that they began the film. I think this is more of an obvious reference to the trend of the shorts or the videos looping. There's an editing trend where you use the beginning and the end of the same video so that it looks like a seamless cut. Is that the reason they used it here? So many questions. Okay, this is the end of the video. So what do you think? I know there's many other things that I could be mentioning from the production and the meaning of this video, or perhaps I should not look at it in such a deep way and just let it flow and then just enjoy the visuals. Please leave me in the comments your thoughts, what you saw, what I missed, anything really, anything that you'd like to point out about this crazy video clip. Thank you so much for passing by. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd appreciate your thumbs up. It really helps me. And if you extremely liked it, then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading more videos like this always talking about video editing and the art of filmmaking. Do-do!